Hello and a very warm welcome here from the European League of Football. As always, uh, it's the CEO, Shelko Karajca, and myself, Patrick Izumi, the commissioner, giving you the weekly update on what's going on inside the European League of Football. And as you guys can see, our CEO is representing uh, our new merchandise, Shelko. Yes, let, let's have a look, you know. <laughs> The Centurions are back, and from now on, every week, a different franchise. Uh, we love them all, and uh, maybe one uh, one hint. Uh, there was one franchise missing overall in, in our shop, and today uh, also the merch from Berlin Thunder will be available. There was a small delay, but uh, from this evening on, also all Berlin Thunder fans will be able to... Um, to buy their merchandising and as you see um, a, a lot of uh, people still uh, received uh, uh, these t-shirts and uh, these merchandising so um, we invite you uh, to go on with that and uh, we're happy that all stadiums once we start in five weeks from now uh, will be full of uh, the brands of their franchises that's awesome news. While we're talking about the merchandise um, and you are talking, uh, keep going because there was something that happened 24 hours ago that I think is very important to know for all our fans out there. Yes, I would say, um, you know, in five weeks we start uh, with the game, uh, with the games. And uh, But what happened, uh, yes, one and a half a day ago, we... We started uh, the home of the European League of Football. Uh, let's say, say it this way. Uh, we started with our new homepage uh, of the European League of uh, Football. And it was, it was great. Uh, we had the first 10,000 people uh, coming in. The first 10,000 uh, people watched the videos and uh, received news. And uh, um, we just can invite you uh, to go to the homepage and to see what's uh, going around the European League of Football to see what's happening within the franchises and uh, to, to receive the latest news. Uh, uh, we want this homepage uh, to be the new home of football, to be the new home of uh, European football. And once we start uh, also with the games, you will have there all highlights, all behind the scenes, all statistics, schedules and everything. And even more, not only in Germany and Spain and Poland, there are franchises are from, but also over the whole world, you will be able uh, to buy a league pass, a season pass, and to be able to watch everywhere around the world in best quality our games, because every game will be produced, every game will be live. So if you are a fan um, of our new Japanese receiver in Leipzig, you also will be able to watch him playing in Leipzig, uh, even if you are living in Tokyo and uh, wish to do so. So happily invited. Uh, you can make subscriptions from now on. Uh, the OTT service is also launched since yesterday. So um, I think step by step uh, we are moving forward and uh, the offers are in place. And uh, yes, uh, we would like to invite you to be part of it. And for all the people out there that don't know what an OTT service is, it's a game pass. So you can watch all the games just like the NFL game pass. There's a European League of Football game pass. So as uh, Sherko said, from Japan through Mexico, USA, or Brazil, everywhere you want, you have access, total access, to the European League of Football. Uh, now, Sherko, you were talking about the franchises. Maybe I'll give a little review of what happened the last weekend. I was able to travel down to Barcelona and watch our franchise down there, the Barcelona Dragons. And what can I say? Um, it was a very, very pleasant surprise. I know that there are some fans out there that have some concerns about the German teams being stronger than the team in Poland or in Spain. And I can tell you this as a football coach, that won't be the case. Um, I almost saw every team so far. Now I had a chance to watch the Barcelona Dragons and I was very, very impressed. Uh, the coaching staff, uh, um, of Coach Rita, the head coach, Adam Rita, who uh, has uh, extensive experience in the CFL. They got, got a great offense coordinator who coached pro, uh, coached pro football and played as a quarterback in the CFL. Um, I think they had more than almost 30 coaches on the field. I'm not joking. They had so many quality coaches, uh, professional coaches, uh, homegrown Spanish coaches. Uh, they had a female coach, a female quarterback coach 
which I really like. I think there's going to be a special, uh, hopefully, on uh, our European League of Football webpage pretty soon about her, her because diversity in our league is something that we uh, uh, think is very important. Uh, so that was special to see that we have female coaches in our league. And from the player perspective, it was only good coaching. There were some very good players, some, some former... Uh, French national team players are playing down there. And the homegrown Spanish players look really strong. There was some good pass rushes, some big defensive tackles, very good running backs. Barcelona is going to play without uh, American running backs, just Spanish running back. They look very good. So Barcelona Dragons, watch out. They're going to be good. So I'm looking forward to uh, uh, seeing them on the 19th when we kick this thing off. And uh, what we can say is every team is in training now since a week or so, uh, yep. the latest one. So um, they're preparing all. And I think there will be also an event in Leipzig this weekend where you will also join the show. Absolutely. I'm going to actually tomorrow morning, I'm going to hop in the car here in Hamburg and drive down uh, to the Leipzig Kings, who's going to, uh, they're going to have their first uh, uh, tryout, actually, uh, where coach... Um, Armstrong and his coaching staff, because there's a coaching staff, uh, they will look at uh, local players that want to join um, the franchise. So I'm looking forward seeing what kind of talent we have in the area around Leipzig. And I think it's going to be pretty good talent. And then after that, the following week, uh, Coach Armstrong is going to start actually getting everybody together and starting getting the team ready. I know he's working as of now due to COVID restriction via Zoom meetings and all that sort of stuff. But uh, starting tomorrow, uh, the Leipzig King is going to hit the ground running in Leipzig. Yes, and, and, and one other important thing is it's uh, not only now on the, on the playground, it's uh, it's maybe also a little bit behind the scenes is uh, as we were discussing about uh, youth development and about uh, taking ready players uh, from the league. There was a lot of discussion over the last weeks and months. I think uh, what happened over the last um, three, four weeks now is more behind the scenes, as I, as I, as I told you, um, is uh, more and more cooperations uh, with uh, clubs uh, in different areas of the Republic, in Cologne, in Leipzig, and now also in Hamburg. I think uh, there is a huge development uh, in this, also in regards of uh, how European League of Football will uh, help to develop uh, the youth teams and the youth in Germany, especially, but not only here, but also in Spain and uh, in Poland, in order to bring the youth on a other level than maybe uh, they have experienced so far. Absolutely. This is one of the uh, things that we always, or me as a commissioner, I get asked a lot, well, what about uh, junior player development? Well, obviously, we always had the plan uh, uh, to be heavily involved in junior player development as we understand that the foundation of our game is always going to be the junior, the youth football. So uh, uh, like you already mentioned, in, in numerous cities, we have corporations with local club teams. And, and uh, I think we can say we are proud to announce that, uh, that in Hamburg, we actually did not partner up with one actually team or club we partnered up with the Hamburg Federation as a whole just to, you know, send the message that European League of Football and the homegrown amateur football game uh, can work together and develop the, uh, the youth football. So what we're going to do is we're going to have probably in every location junior play development uh, camps where we actually want to get kids that never played the game in camps and have them join the local club teams, the amateur teams, um, because we understand at the end of the day, in midterm, five, six, seven years to come, these kids, some of them might end up in our league. So we try to make sure that we give back to the game, we give back to the local amateur football teams and provide them with kids coming into their program. Um, and this is what we're starting to do, and there's more to come. As we, uh, Sherko and I, we have talks uh, with somebody that's going to probably head up the junior player development program. And, and this is going to be bigger than a lot of uh, uh, people probably expect because we understand the youth is the future of the European League of Football. 
And I think we always have said um, we are not afraid of big names and we are not afraid of, of people who are experienced um, in football. And our aim is to bring all these people together in this uh, European League of Football network and to help to grow uh, the sports and the game. And I think that's uh, what you mentioned, what will happen, I think, uh, in the next one, two, three weeks, where we will have a few more announcements uh, exactly on this topic. And one last thing, um, what we announced also yesterday is also regards young people, population development, uh, way of life is uh, that we announced Nico Beckspin as our head of music in the European League of Football. And as we know, uh, if we go, uh, for example, to US and see how they celebrate football, it's not only about sports, it's also about entertainment, uh, uh, the wave of life. And uh, that's the reason why we said, okay, Nico is one um, of the greatest men behind hip hop and rap music uh, in Germany. And now he's part of us. And uh, I think uh, the next announcement we will do is, uh, as we know, this, that our superstar Ede Bali is uh, uh, now shooting a sitcom for the European League of Football. And uh, I think the first um, piece of work of Nico will be uh, to produce uh, the music for this sitcom. And I think uh, looking forward uh, for our championship game, for our final, uh, there are more things to come with uh, famous musicians, with uh, uh, famous people also to join again the show and maybe to make the championship game, for example, even bigger um, than uh, it should be um, with, with football itself. So I would say this last week or the last 10 days uh, since we uh, had our last talk, uh, a lot of things happened and uh, yes, we are moving forward and step by step, I think uh, it's more and more clear what will happen when we start the league. So probably a lot of fans out there uh, ask themselves now, is there going to be a halftime show just like at the Super Bowl at the European League of Football Championship? Um, as we see uh, that the numbers are going down uh, with the corona and everything and we are, we are uh, as we are, uh, we are maximum optimistic uh, that these uh, numbers will go down and down more and more and even until end of september when our championship game will take place yes uh, we want to celebrate you know after after more than a year being locked up uh, everywhere through europe yes we want to make a halftime show we want to make a big party with all of you guys and uh, yes uh, we will prepare something together for example with nico and others uh, we want to make a big, big show in Düsseldorf. So um, again, happy to invite everybody to be a part of it. And uh, it will be a great experience. It will be a big game. That's awesome. And and I think, Sherko, we, we forgot to mention one very important topic. And that is that we a lot of people asked who's going to be the general manager for the Berlin franchise. We found somebody there who was uh, very, very capable of being the general manager, and he was announced just a few days ago. Yes, it's Heiko, and uh, I think there were, uh, it's a very experienced manager, you know, and uh, we took our time with the franchise together, but now there is a man in place who started 20, 25 years ago with football. He was uh, working with the NFL Europe at that time. He was marketing manager for the Galaxy also 20 years ago. So. Um, he started with football, then he did a lot of other things and sports management over the last 20 years. And now, uh, somehow, uh, the chain closes again. Um, he is also a part of our league and he is still in place. He started with his work. So I'm pretty sure that there will be a lot of good news, not only with start with Merch uh, today uh, with Berlin Thunder. There will be a lot of other good news uh, over the last next weeks. And uh, yes, Berlin is... Uh, is in the game. Well, that sounds very good. As you can tell, uh, ladies and gentlemen out there, a lot of things going on behind the scenes that we always want to share with you. Uh, I hope you were entertained. I hope you got the, uh, the information that you were looking for. Obviously, we're going to see each other next week again. Make sure you follow the European League of Football on YouTube, on Instagram, and obviously all the other teams and social media. Make sure you leave us a like and uh, looking forward to seeing you guys uh, next week again. Thank you, Shelka. Have a great weekend and see you next week. Bye-bye.